this has been out for a little minute now, but Sydney Starr, she is a very well-known trans woman and she has had the infamous situation where she pretty much ruined a rapper's career by the name of Chingy many years ago because she put some rumors out there that didn't put him in a good light with the hip hop community, shall we say. And so he, he kind of got canceled for not doing anything but taking a picture with a fan and she put it out there that they were dating and it's one of those things that she has been well known for that will probably never she'll never get rid of that stain because she's not viewed in a good light for those reasons but she's been working really hard over the years to try to rid herself of that you know of that stigma of outing a straight male that she claimed to be in a relationship with, whether it was true or not. Well, recently she came out and she claimed that Darius McCrary, who played Eddie Winslow on Family Matters, and he's done some other things as well over the years, but that's what he's most well known for. She did a few posts on her Instagram account and she was pretty much saying that they're dating, they're in a relationship. She did this post where they were appearing to be some sort of photo shoot. We don't know what it's for. And she was dressed up. He was wearing a suit with a mustard color tie and, <laughs> and the, you know, the matching handkerchief in the pocket just kind of looked dated, to be honest with you, but whatever. And she wrote, we both are just built special two hardworking celebrities in the industry eddie winslow we love you at darius mccrary we hear y'all talking trans is beautiful hashtag hashtag family matters now okay the question of whether she is a celebrity is you know that i'll leave that up to you i don't know if she would be considered a celebrity or just someone who is infamous and not necessarily famous i would I would see her as someone who's infamous and not a actual celebrity because celebrities are seen as people who actually have worked to become well-known in the industry, whether it's singing, acting, um, you know, in that entertainment industry. And I mean, besides the viral posts that have happened, and I believe she was also on the, the, the bad girls club recently i don't watch that so i don't know a whole lot about it but there were some rumors about some things that happened when she was there where she got into a sort of an altercation with someone on a reunion special and that she made one of the girls feel uncomfortable by exposing herself and shall we shall we say she is not a i guess a full trans woman shall we say she hasn't fully transitioned i guess that's the way we'll put it we'll leave it at that and so when she did that, he responded, he responded and he said what he said. All right. So there have been rumors out there, whether he likes to tiptoe with trans women and, and, you know, honestly, that's neither here nor there for me because it's no one's business what someone does that they don't put out themselves. And here's where I'm going with this. She was recently interviewed via, I guess, Zoom. Um, on the reel and they were asking her about this situation because he came out and denied that they were in a relationship when she was pretty much saying that they were in a relationship now I'm going to play clips of this and then I'm going to get back into my thoughts on it uh, joining us today is TV personality Sydney Starr welcome to the show Sydney hi hey, Sydney. hey everybody hi initially on your online post, you referred to Darius as your boo thing, which for some implied you two were dating, but you later denied the rumors. Why did you do that? Well, okay, as you guys can see how it really, really, really hit us, right? It hit us really hard. I don't think neither I or Darius knew how hard that this was gonna hit. And I mean, as you can see, society was not ready for this at all and you would this think that it what? would be. i want to know about you and darius were you guys dating where the boo thing usually means there's a relationship was there more than just friends did y'all date 
we are friends. We are friends. Okay. He's a very good friend of mine. That's all I'm gonna say. He is fun to hang out with. As you can see, I'm a fun girl to hang out with. Anybody would want to be Sydney Star's friend. And or my friend. Of course. But Sydney, we getting very serious here, because we have issues with transgender community and with dating and people and the perceptions that people have. So saying that you're dating someone and that person doesn't date you, that gets it, it gets in murky water. So can you see how it could be dangerous? Because the same thing happened with you and Chingy. You remember back in the day. So we, we want to be totally clear because you know, we in the especially in our communities, we're trying to make sure that but we are you know, allies that what to transgender. Saying. Correct. I know, I know exactly what you're saying. And let me say this: I am only human. I am a person that has come from a, a very scratchy past. But I'ma say this: I am all about positivity. Miss Star is coming with nothing but love <laughs> and positivity. And oh. I want everyone to know that just because I have a past with something like that is not mean I'm the, that same type of person just now. Okay. I okay. honestly can say me and Darius, we we came together to cause a positive movement and a moment for the world I got to you. break barriers. It's okay right. for a straight heterosexual male to be friends with a beautiful known trans woman or a Got gay it. guy yeah. or someone that is not really normalized. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like all we were one all we wanted to do was just kind of show you all like look, hey, this is okay. You and I agree I mean? with you. I actually completely agree with you. I mean, yeah. there's no reason why anybody straight, gay, or uh, in between but can girls, be friends with a me. transgender. It's not like I look right. like I think the confusion Arnold was just that. Right, but the it's confusion. It's not like I look like Arnold Schwarzenegger with a wig on. It's not even about the way you look. It's not even about that. Right. I think that think there's there's a weird stigma that exists out there, and, and it shouldn't. Mm -hmm. But there's a weird stigma that exists that when a straight man is hanging out with a trans woman, right. that then they may be gay, or that there's that a, to then be. all of a sudden or, society's or responsibility to out them because they're on the DL. And so that's yeah. what the question was. Because when you said that you had relations with him or you alluded to that, then it just led everybody to believe that there was something more. And that's why we wanted to bring you here so you could straighten that out. All right, so she's saying, you know, that society isn't ready for this. But when she's being interviewed on the reel, she's saying that she and he are friends, right? Being a friend and actually being in a dating romantic relationship, yeah, you should be friends with the person that you're dating, of course. But that's not what she's implying on this interview. So she's basically saying something different than what she said prior to him coming out and denying the rumors. Now I've heard some people say that she's probably telling the truth and then I've heard some people saying that she's probably lying because she has a track record of doing this and I've heard some other people say that this photo shoot it was for something that was going to be uh, either some sort of show or, or something like that so maybe something they were shopping to either online or television networks uh, I, you know maybe the Zeus network or something like that something along those lines and it wasn't an, a photo shoot of two people who are in a romantic relationship all we can go by I believe is what he has said because if he's denying it at her being a trans woman and knowing the stigma that comes along with someone who is trans and them outing someone who is not putting themselves out there to be either trans attracted or be you know in a relationship with a trans person is really not fair and it is very dangerous it is not right for anyone to put their hands on anyone and it's definitely not right for someone who is who is not trans to injure or hurt someone or worse who is trans at all it's it's not a good thing to do but it's also not a good thing for a trans person to out someone in that in that sense and if he did not make it clear to her if they indeed were in a relationship if he did not make it clear to her that i am okay with putting this out there then she never should have done it 
just one for the sake of respecting the person that she's supposed to be in a relationship with yeah i get it you don't want to be on the down low and you don't want to be someone's you know little secret but neither do most women most women don't want to be in a relationship with someone and be that person's secret they want other people to know and not be a you know a hidden secret from everyone else so if a man is in a relationship with any woman and they're not claiming you out loud and they're not making it known to everyone else not saying they have to do a whole social media introduction because i guess that's the new thing now that people do it's like now introducing the new couple it's kind of ridiculous doing that too but putting it out there before that person lets you know when you already know like she said society wasn't ready for it then why would she be the one to put it out there instead of him doing it if they are indeed in a relationship and if he is indeed okay with putting it out there so it leaves the question was she really in a relationship with him or was she just again clout chasing again or trying to get her moment in in the spotlight and did the real give that to her by allowing her to come on the show for the girl chat i i don't even think they should have given her a place to talk about it especially when he came out and denied that they were in a relationship even if he was lying if he didn't come out and say or confirm that they were in a relationship when she came and put it out there then it's kind of shady for the real to bring her on to talk to her about it like that's that, I, I, I'll just leave it at that. I think if they're supposed to be a cut above what they would call YouTubers, because I've heard Jeannie Mai say that before, and them being this legitimate platform on a network television um, station, then them bringing someone like Sydney Star on, I think is kind of beneath them. And I don't even see why they really gave her a place, even if it was five minutes of their time to talk about this. Because again, she's on here and she's saying that we're, we're friends. Now, if someone came and came out and lied on me, I don't think I would be calling them a friend. So I don't even know if Darius would even consider her to be a friend at this point when you've got so thousands of people talking about it. I wouldn't say millions of people are talking about it, but you've got thousands of people that are talking about it and questioning questioning him. Like, who are you really? Who who really are you? And he said that it's not true mama winslow from family matters she was having lunch with him and she said that it's a lie it's not true so again if someone came out and lied on you do you consider that person a friend and should the real have even given her a place to talk about this i don't know but anyway guys you let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section